Hello everyone, welcome back to Pokemon Gold version. Um, we are still in the dance hall in Ecritique City, so let's finish up here. After we defeat the rest of the kimono girls, we will get HM3, which is uh, Surf. And we won't be able to use Surf until we beat Morty, who is the gym leader here. Um, but it's going to be end up being really useful to us. Umbreon is Dark type, and. Dark type is weak to bug and fighting. And I think that might be it, at least in this generation. Seems to kind of have high defense to. Dark is one of the two new elemental types that were added to second generation, along with Steel. It's super effective against, uh, super effective against, um, oh no. Um, it's super effective against Psychic and Ghost types. And I, I don't think it's super effective against anything else. But as always, I could be wrong. So, our bay leaf fainted. But that's okay, we can make it through. We've already beaten Espeon and Umbreon, so uh, that kind of gets rid of the two trickier types. Which is Eevee's water evolution. So Phil should make quick work of this one. That Umbreon must have used Sand Attack on Bayleaf without me realizing it. It's probably why I kept missing. Why, oh, it's level 16. Hmm. Okay, just one more. So, in this video, we're going to be, like I said, finishing up here. Then we're going to visit one of the two towers that are here in Ecti. And if we have time, we'll start doing the gym that's here. And they all know Sand Attack. But that should have one hit. Jolty Hunt? Yeah. Alright. So let's go talk to this guy again. He'll give us our HM. It looks like watching it. It's a rare treat to see. I want you to have this. Don't worry. Take it. So 
a move that lets Pokemon swim across water. Hands always with his riding, says he wants a Pokemon that can surf and dance. Trying to make a synchronized swimming to the Pokemon. The Kimono girls are so beautiful, but they have to go through rigorous training. They have to learn to follow customs before appearing in public. But if you love something, anything is possible. Uh, does it do anything? It's a fancy panel that's decorated with flowers. Okay, let's go heal ourselves. And we're gonna actually battle our rival in just a couple minutes. Before we do though, I want to grab the apricorns that are down here. So we'll have plenty for when we can finally go back to Azalea Town. I'm not sure in this game if Kurt will only do one Pokeball at a time. Because it would really be a hassle if he did. But I suppose we'll see soon enough. We will get the fly ability. Um, Uh, we'll be getting it not in the next city, but... Oh, come on. It's pitchy that fast. There we go. Um, yeah, we'll get it in Cyanwood City. Or Cyanwood City. I'm not sure how to pronounce a lot of these names. I remember about all of them. It has Pokemon that serves as the Beacon Fell Hill. Sounds like they're in trouble. So that's a job we'll be finishing later on. April Corner Rampage with the Lake of Rage. I'd like to see that. Would you though? That used to be a much taller tower, but it burned down in a fire. Burn Tower. It was destroyed by a mysterious fire. Please stay away. So Ekritik used to be the home to two legendary bird Pokemon, Ho-Oh and Lugia. And now it's actually only home to Ho-Oh, because Ho-Oh destroyed this tower. So we gotta fight Silver, because he's always gotta prove himself. So he's got a Haunter. Doesn't really make sense. It's only level 20, but it started out as a ghastly, so it should not have evolved yet. So let's hurry with Haunter before Curse starts hurting us. Level 17. It's about time Wyatt learned some real attacks. So I think if we switch out Geodude, Curse will no longer affect him. Of course, Curse could also have ended when Haunter fainted, but really, I don't know. Oh, yikes. So, magnitude should be fine. Uh -oh. I hate all these accuracy lowering attacks.
Alright, only three more levels till Roxy evolves. Yes. Oh, we'll do this. Oh, no. I don't like to be confused, that much is certain. Hey, yeah, but we pulled through, that's good. I won't be paralyzed through that. Oh, and we shook confusion. Wow, that was really lucky. Good for us. So he has one more Pokemon, and I believe it's a Magnemite. Which means... Let's first send out Wyatt. Then we'll send out Roxy. And hopefully Magnemite does not know Sonic Boom. He does. I think that's gonna make Roxy faint. Shoot. Oh. Um. Hmm. This is a conundrum. I guess Priscilla will do just fine. Let's use hypnosis. Did it work? There we go. So Sonic Boom always does 20 damage, I believe. Whereas Nightshade will always do damage equal to your Pokemon's level. So right now my Nightshade does 21 damage. Sweet kiss. Come on, Wyatt. Can't you learn, like, Pound or something? This is why I hate Pounding Wimps. There's no challenge in it. Whatever. He would never be able to catch a legendary Pokemon anyway. So yeah, he was looking for the legendary Pokemon that used to live here, Lugia. But Lugia has fled to the ocean. And we'll be able to capture him, though not until much later in the game. If we were playing Silver version, we would be able to catch him sooner. But alas, we are not. So let's explore what we can of the Burned Tower, and then we'll see if we can't get started at um, Morty's Gym. Okay, so we can't go anywhere from here. Copying. might be... We may want to get our, um, go our Geodude to evolve into Graveler, because right now Roxy is best suited to fight the ghost poison types that we'll be fighting in Morty's Gym. So let's put, go ahead and put Roxy up at the front for now. And, okay, we want to get to the top of the basement, but let's first see if there's anything we can get down here, such as this Ultra Ball. Yeah. Check down here. We'll be able to use Rock Smash on that chipped looking rock. So let's see if any of our Pokemon can learn Rock Smash. Um, let's 
Let me see. I'm gonna go ahead and replace Geodude Self-Destruct with Rock Smash because I am never gonna use Self-Destruct. I'm like Captain Kirk, I don't believe in the no-win scenario. We got some fire breathers in here, I think. Coffin. So Geodude's got a pretty good repertoire right now. He knows, a, or she knows, a fighting type move, a rock type move, and a ground type move. So that gives her a wide array of abilities, and she can be used against a wide array of types. And if we can get her to evolve, her stats will probably go way up. I tried catching a Growlithe off-camera, but it was tricky. They like to use Roar, and that makes you run away, forces you to run away, which is unfortunate. But uh, Growlithe would have been pretty good to have. They know Bite. And they're also Fire-type, which is a type we have yet to add to our team. This will drop us in the center, but in, there might be an item down here for us. Uh, okay, we need strength to be able to get that. But if you look over here, there are some stone Pokemon up on that pedestal type thing. Well, Magma. See if we can catch this one. Critical hit. Never mind. Oops. Just want to see if there's an item over there. Oh, another magma. Let's try that again, shall we? Oh, so in other news, I bought Super Smash Bros. yesterday for the 3DS, and we're too powerful for Magmar. No, but I've been playing it a bunch. I'm really enjoying it so far. Um, yeah, I've been playing it a ton. I got to go to my friend's apartment, and we played it lots of uh, versus, versus matches. Actually, let's drop down here real quick. Yeah, but Adrian can't carry any more items. Okay, slank. We got too many items. Some of these we can deposit in our PC. Okay. But we will want to come back for that HP up eventually. So I'm not sure if we're going to make it to Morty's gym, just because I'm kind of moving slower than I anticipated, but between this video and the next one, I may be doing stuff, but then again I may not. Usually when I say I'm going to, I don't, so we'll see. Phone call from Arnie. Adrian, howdy. It's me, Arnie, isn't it nice? I said, I found about something else in March I could show you. Hey, listen, I almost caught Nita and female the other day. Oh, it was so close, too. See you later. That's usually what the phone calls consist of. But 
like I said, and the numbers I've been adding are ones that will tell me when certain Pokemon are swarming in certain locations, such as Dunsparrows, um, eventually Meryl, Quillfish, and uh, Rima Rabe, Snubble, and Yamba. And I think that's all of them. But yeah, those are all Pokemon that normally don't appear often at all, but during swarms they'll appear quite a lot. Your scratch will do nothing. And I've also started a um, game of Pokemon Silver, and with that I'm hoping we can do some trades to get... Oh, that's weird. Why did he turn gray? Is he stone now? That's weird. Um, psh, psh, psh. Sorry, what was I saying? X speed. Ether. And since we already have an ether, we can just add it to our total. Um, oh, I lost my train of thought again. Uh, oh yeah, so with Silver Version I'm hoping we can do trades to get Pokemon like Graveler and Haunter to evolve when we eventually get those Pokemon. And we can also get other version exclusive Pokemon that way. Oh no. Okay, so... We're just about to get into the basement where we'll find the statuesque legendary Pokemon. Do I have an antidote? I think I do. I do. Okay, let's go ahead and drop down here. And just take a look and they'll awaken and run away from me. So they're called Raiko, Entei, and Suicune. And we will sometimes randomly run into them. And once we run into them once, we can kind of start to track them using our Pokedex. Let's go ahead and do the Pokemon Center. And then since we only have a couple minutes, I guess we'll just look around town. Yep, um, I think we're going to be pretty solid for uh, facing Morty. You're on an adventure with your Pokemon. Well, what? An adventure without treasure hunting. Am I right or am I right? You are right. I think this guy's going to give us the item finder. Yay! So that'll help us to kind of find out if, um, in our current frame, if there are any items that uh, are invisible on the field, but it'll tell us if one exists. Is it really a Pokemon that big? If it exists, it might be powerful. I think they're talking about the legendary bird Pokemon. This guy suddenly turned black. A giant flying Pokemon is blocking out the sun. I wonder what that Pokemon was. It's like a bird and a dragon. So he's talking about Lugia. And Lugia, like I said, has fled to the ocean. Critique used to have two towers, one each in the east and west. And to get to the other tower, you would go through here, but right now we can't go there because we don't have the uh, credentials, so to speak. Okay. Um, Practice with the dancing. Oh, yeah, we talked to her. Okay, so it's about 25 minutes. This is probably a good place to save and quit. But next time we will definitely be doing Morty's Gym. And so I hope to see you all then as we move forward. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.